Hello, Blake Rudis here with F64 Academy. And if you've been following me through this whole adventure with the Zone System Express leading up to its release, we've talked about many things. And we talked about the first thing was workflow. Where does workflow begin? Is it an in-camera thing? Is it uh, while you're post-processing? And we deduced that it really happens up here. Workflow starts before you even take the picture. You've set up the scene and you have an idea of what you're gonna do with the camera so that you can better process that image when you sit down at the computer. And it takes what happens here first to get that whole process started. And then we talked about Photoshop and the importance of knowing Photoshop really well, okay? And not being able to rely on uh, plugins or programs outside of Photoshop. Now, I do use plugins. Uh, I really like plugins because they do help speed up certain parts. But the reason why I use them is because I know Photoshop so well. And because I know Photoshop so well, I can incorporate those plugins into my Photoshop workflow. And that's a critical point when it comes to workflow and using plugins. During the course of this, I've been asking questions to uh, some of the subscribers and followers of F64 Academy and F64 Elite. One of those questions was, what is your biggest frustration with workflow? What is the one thing that if you could pinpoint down, what is the one thing? And I came up with a few common denominators, a lot of, a lot of great feedback there about where do you go from here and what do you do then? And, and the list goes on. But what I deduced was that there are two things that people talk about, too much and too many. It takes too much effort and too much time, and there are too many steps and too many programs to make a concise workflow in Photoshop. And it really comes down to this. It, come down, it comes down to consistency and order. And how do you promote and create consistency and order in your workflow? It's a nightmare. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things you gotta do here, a lot of things you gotta do there. But if you're just using Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw to process your images, I'm telling you this, you're only scratching the surface. And the thing is, I actually talked to uh, many uh, professionals in my industry when I was at a recent seminar and asked them, how much do you use Photoshop? Oh, maybe 5% of the time. I'll just go in there to clone or heal something, but I typically do everything in Lightroom. And they say, well, 95% of that is done in Lightroom and maybe four or 5% in Photoshop. See, I'm the other way around. I do about 5% of my workflow in Adobe Camera Raw and about 95% in Photoshop. And that might sound like, oh, that's insane. How can you do that much in Photoshop? But the reality of the situation is, I know how much control I have over my image with the things in Photoshop, so I'm not battling with myself on what sliders I'm moving where. I know intuitively what I'm doing on my image. And now, that took quite a bit of time to get to that point, and I had to break down that workflow into three essential elements of tone, color and artistic effects. And that's where the Zone System Express really shines. Especially when you come into Photoshop, it's got the workflow all laid out for you. So we're gonna take a jump into Photoshop right now and I'm gonna show you kind of the layout of how this image was edited and you're gonna realize that it doesn't take too many plugins or too many programs or too many steps. It doesn't take too much time and it definitely doesn't take too much effort, especially when your workflow is spelled out. So let's take a look at the Zone System Express in great detail in Photoshop. So before we move on and talk about the Zone System Express, let's look at this workflow that I've been telling you about tone, color, artistic effects. Now I hope you get sick of that because if you're getting sick of hearing me say that, that means it's actually sinking in and I'm excited, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the eyeball off on this image. And if you look at this, this just looks like, you know, a, a snapshot or something like that. It doesn't look like it could be a very good photograph. But when you really break the image down, you look at the photograph, some of the things that are wrong with it compared to the end result here, uh, look at the colors, look at the way things pop. This is more natural. This is actually more natural to the way I actually saw it when I was there but we can't get that from our camera why can't we get that from our camera well our camera can only capture one Kelvin temperature at a time just like it can only capture one exposure at a time so when we look at this image look at how blue the water is it's not very nice the rocks are blue the background here with the white that's more of a bluish color that's because it's capturing more of a cool Kelvin temperature than a warm one to bring out the color in those rocks so we have to do that we have to do that as the individuals here that work on our images. If you saw the speed video on this that I did on editing this, you saw that it only took about seven minutes and 45 seconds for me to edit this photograph. And I wasn't lying there. I didn't prep beforehand. I didn't do any of the work beforehand. I jumped to the Zone System Express and I just started working. And as I was working, I recorded the whole thing. It only took seven minutes and 30 seconds for me to make this. 
So when we talk about that too much, uh, too many steps or too many programs or too much time and too much effort, I can tell you that this was pretty effortless. Didn't take me a whole lot of time. I only used Photoshop and I only used really the steps of tone, color, and artistic effects. The Zone Sim Express was the workflow solution for me to make this happen. So let's look at tone. What do we do with tone? Well, we just modify the image to get our tones right, okay? So you work on tone first, you work in the form of tone first, and how we know we're doing that is we have our tones based on our darkest darks to our lightest lights, and we set these to luminosity. Now, we don't actually have to make these masks or create these masks. They're all done with the Zone Stim Express. We tackle tone first, then we move into color. We look at color, we're not just uh, editing color randomly with a bunch of sliders. We know exactly that this is red. Anything white that's showing up here is red. Anything white showing up is yellow. Anything white showing up is green. These are targeted areas of adjustments of color. You don't really get this in any other program or plugin out there. Now they give you a red slider. They give you a yellow slider but they don't tell you where red is or green is so that you can make accurate and deliberate editing choices, okay? That's the important part here. Accuracy, efficiency, and deliberate choices in your editing process, okay? And that's where the Zone System Express comes in. After that, dodge and burn layer. And I'm telling you that in the Zone System Express panel, what I'm gonna show you here in a second, the unveiling, if you will, it, the dodge and burn is a one-click option. You click it and you're already on your dodge and burn way. And then we have effects. We jump into effects to add some radiance here to make this image just really pop. And this is that thing. A lot of times people say to me, how do you make images pop? Well, it doesn't just come from tone and color, okay? Tone and color can help, but you have to go into those artistic effects to really drive the image home. We did some color grading to bring out some of the colors in this image, some of those uh, cool, some of those warm, warm tones to dissipate the cools. And I, I know that intuitively, I know how to uh, make blue get subdued because I understand color theory. And in the Zone System Express education bundle, I talk about color theory and how to use complementary colors to subdue how harsh one color is on your image and make another color on your image pop off the page. Really powerful stuff when you understand color theory. So if we look at the panel, we open up the panel, this is the Zone System Express panel. It's no longer actions. It used to be actions. And if I go to my actions list here and I show you the zone systems, I used to have one for the color zone system, one for the digital zone system, and it was a convoluted mess. Look at all those actions. You have to read everything in order to figure it out. That's a mess. But now with the Zone System Express panel, it's all in one place. You want your tones. You can either get a range of tones by clicking on this one and getting your condensed range like you saw me working on here, or you can get 11 zones that break your image down even further and if you want further access to those as you're working on the fly you can click on any of these color tone buttons you've got the mask set up for that zone right away so I just clicked right here on zone 4 and you'll see here that we now have zone 4 selected this is anything in the zone 4 range and we can add even more tone masks onto our image at the click of a button hopping over into color We've got the full color zone system right here with all of its color breakdowns. So you can either get the range of colors or individual colors that you want to modify further. So let's say you run the whole color zone system. You get that whole color range breakdown. You start modifying that and you say, oh, you know, it'd be nice if I had another yellow mask. Just click the yellow button here. You've got another yellow mask. And brand new for the zone system express, right here we have something called the analogous zone system. Or I'll actually create an analogous mask based on the, the information in the image to pull multiple colors together to get a nice tonal range on that and really clean up. This is good for cleaning up sunsets and sunrises or sweeping fields uh, with yellows and greens in them. And then we have our effects panel where we can just one click button. We can click right here, get a solid color grade. In a matter of seconds, we have a solid color grade that we can now edit really quickly and really efficiently right here in the Zone System Express panel. Now, another thing we need to show you in the Zone System Express panel is right here in the workflow tools. Now you have noise reduction and sharpening at the click of a button, and these are hybrid. You can do them at the beginning of your workflow, or I use them at the very end, even noise reduction at the end. And I can use noise reduction at the end because this uses blend if principles in it so that you can uh, reduce the noise in just the shadow areas of your photograph. So you can actually run noise reduction at the end and run some sharpening and they won't actually uh, be using any of the information from each other because they're using blend if really powerful stuff 
But right here, my favorite thing you'll notice is that as you change these folders here, these stay this, these change, but these areas down here stay the same because now you have workflow tools. You've got blend if options at the click of a button. Only want your midtones being affected by that color grade, click only midtones. And you also have opacities down here. So this has solved my problem of workflow. It's very fast. This is like having a remote control for uh, speed editing. With, without losing it in the couch cushions, okay? And what I'm talking about here is that I'm not a proponent of uh, edit images as fast as possible. I do want you to edit images as fast as possible, but I also want quality over quantity. And this allows me to get the best of both worlds. I can edit things rather quickly, but get the best quality possible. And this has been pulled together from about six years of workflow innovations that I've put together over the course of time. So you're not just getting a snapshot of what I do now. This has been refined workflow over the course of a long series of time that is now being condensed into a very easy to use panel or extension for Photoshop that you can be using on your images right now. Now, don't go, I don't want to go too far into the panel and all the little intricacies of it because the education for it actually really digs deep. Whether you go with just the panel or the education bundle, it breaks down the panel in a way to show you how to use it on your workflow seamlessly so that you can be making better images quicker and start doing it today. So the Zone System Express is not just a panel. It's not just another extension. It's not just another thing to add to Photoshop. This is a workflow solution. Okay, this solves the problem of too much effort, too much time, too many steps, and too many programs. It's all spelled out right there on the panel. For the panel, there are two options for purchase. You can buy the panel and just the panel, and what that comes with is the three panels for CS5, CS6, and Photoshop CC. So whichever program or plugin you're using for Photoshop, it has a panel for you, specifically for you. Things will look slightly different on each one of those panels because they had to be built differently for those programs, but you have three panels. You get a PDF that, that shows you how to use the Zone System Express panel, breaks it down, and even gives you an ideal workflow in that PDF and even goes over some of the troubleshooting issues. There are some installation videos that come with it, as well as some videos on troubleshooting and even one workflow video on a single image so that you can follow along right there with me and edit that image just like I do in Photoshop. Beyond that, I'm also offering a zone system education bundle. Now this bundle includes much more than just the panel. This includes about four and a half more hours of education. And what it does is it goes over tone so that you can really understand your histogram, your curves, all the things that you need to know to modify a tone to get you to the point where you're working more accurately and efficiently on your images. It does the same thing with color. It, color, it covers color theory, uh, the basics of color theory like a painter. So not just uh, move these color sliders here and there. No, let's talk about what color does. How does color make us feel? How can we manipulate our viewer with the colors that we use on our images? That's what we cover in the color module of the education bundle so that you can make better judgment calls with color on your images as you edit. It then goes into artistic effects and breaks down some of the most common artistic effects that I use in my images from things like color gradients, uh, whether you're using a gradient map or a solid color layer, um, vignettes and how to use vignettes the right way and not make them look horrible from like they're from 1970. Uh, then we also talk about radiance actions, how to make things look more radiant and glow a little bit more in your images to really make them pop. And th that's the thing that makes images pop. Uh, the tone and color stuff, those are more technical, but to make your image pop, you got to get this radiant glow and we cover that in the effects module as well. Then we go a little bit farther and we do a whole workflow series. And this isn't just uh, workflow on several different images. This is workflow on a single image so that you know what that's like. Workflow on an HDR photograph. So you know how to use the zone systems and the panel on an HDR image from Photomatix. We then talk about how to use plugins with the Zone System Express panel. And we also talk about a black and white workflow that is just knockout and killer for creating black and white images using the Zone System Express panel. Beyond that, in the workflow section, I also cover a bunch of workflow tips, really quick tips that you can go in, watch a couple minutes worth of stuff so that you can better use that Zone System panel. So I sincerely appreciate you watching this video and taking the time to increase your brain power with your photographic pursuits. I've been working on the Zone System Express panel for about six months now. Um, it was a vision two years ago and is now a reality. And I'm just glad I can share it with you now today. Once again, thank you very much. I appreciate all of your comments, questions, and social sharing on the new Zone System Express panel.